Alright guys, it's been roughly three weeks since Scoot has last ran because the torque converter, we had to remove the transmission, send the torque converter off. I uh, called FTI a couple days ago and they said probably the first of the week, first thing in this week, this coming week, they'll be cracking it open and giving me a call. So that's good news. But um, we got E85 sitting in the fuel rails and injectors and everything, so we need to hook up the starter and crank this thing over and let it idle for a little bit. Get that stuff kind of cycling through. We've been having a lot of rain, and uh, even though I got a nice new cover for it, um, that moisture, it finds its way into E85. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to pop the starter on there, make sure ain't no wires near the flex plate. Give her a little fire up and let her run a little bit. <laughs> I hit the brakes. Left turn signal. And then right. So I hooked those up to the brake light over there. It's now on the right turn signal. They also blink. <laughs> Whatever. All right, thanks, babe. Now that there's no torque converter on there, the way I have the idle tuned, it's, it's gonna wanna run rough, so. Give it another little bump, and let it uh, idle for a little bit. Yeah, might need to assist it.
Yeah, being that E85, it attracts a lot of water, so you don't want it to sit for too long, really. You gotta really cycle it through and really just try to feed in some gasoline, but I don't feel like making a tune for it when I know that I could just cycle it through them injectors and the system's pretty tight, exclude airtight, excluding the tank, which has a breather. It's supposed to be a one-way check valve, but who knows? So I'm fine with this. Let it get up to engine operating temp. You know, we're at 170, 180 right now. So the thermostat just opened. Just kind of curious to see if it would drop because uh, everything in the radiator has been cooling, but it don't look like it's dropping. So that's all good. Um, but it is maintaining, so that's, uh, that's what it's supposed to do. But let a little bit of heat go through it, let that oil kind of lubricate everything back up, get everything nice and coated again, let that fuel cycle through the system, especially the injectors. That's, uh, that's where the biggest concern would really come in. I don't care what goes into the cylinders, it's going to spit it out, but the injectors we ain't trying to have all gunked up, so letting them get a, not a workout, but a, a walk, a walk around the park. So that and let the battery get a little bit of charge. Not, not that this is really going to help any. And I mean, I have a battery tender, but it's good to get the system juices flowing through. You know. So hopefully, hopefully FTI can give us a call Monday or Tuesday. You know, I'm being pretty optimistic with that. I don't want to be the guy that nags them and nags them, but um, hopefully they give me a call and a price and we can go from there and maybe in a week or two, again, this is really optimistic thinking, maybe in a week or two we can um, get the trans back together and go hit a track and see what she can do. I will say this car cover, I spent a little bit more on this one, but damn, the, the results are way better. I'm, I'm amazed. It's way better material. It's quality. Magnesium here. It's got a couple layers. It's got this thick outside layer. Got some layers and then this like cotton inside layer or whatever. But it definitely helps here in Florida when uh, you got cover over a car like that. Any moisture inside is gonna get baked out because it'll be like 120 to 110 degrees in there during the day, maybe higher. It just bakes out completely. But our thermostat's doing what it's supposed to. See how we're maintaining 186 degrees? That's what we want. It's been running for a good six or seven minutes now. It hasn't really crept up past that, so a tiny radiator like that you want the thermostat to be on the higher end it's a 180 thermostat and the reason why is because you got to have the longest amount of time in the that your liquids in your radiator cooling before you open it if you leave it open all the time it'll never have enough time to cool it so that worked out pretty good otherwise if it's a bigger radiator on like a street application i'd actually go with like a 160 170 thermostat but for something like this Gotta go with a small radiator like that. We're gonna go with a 180. So, alright, guys. Hopefully, I can find something else for us to do. This is gonna be one boring ass video. But at least I can update y'all on what's going on. And Scoots is, she gonna be back up and running. Gonna be running good. But we'll get there.